What's going down, fight fans? This is Spanier of Northwest Fight Scene. I'm sitting here with Agnar Corey Wyatt from Midtown MMA, Oregon Kickboxing Academy. He took on Team Quest Tommy Graho here at the FCFF Rumble at the Rosen 58. And man, let me tell you what, this was my pick for fight of the night. The fights aren't even over yet, so I hope I'm not getting too little ahead of myself. But if there was another one, then I'll give them that too, because I'm telling you, man, they earned it. These two warriors went after it round after round after round to the end. Uh, Corey, you got the decision. Um, talk about what it was like, talk about the fight, and how you're feeling now. Well, one thing I noticed during the fight is this guy has really good conditioning and his overhand right and his lead leg kick to my leg was vicious and uh, I felt every single one of those. And uh, you know, in this fight it was my conditioning that I, I think helped me prevail because I've been focusing on my conditioning, my stand with his conditioning because he was a, one of the most conditioned opponents I've faced yet so far. So he took it to me just as hard as I tried to take it to him. And I, I think I might, even though I pulled off the win, I think I might be a little more beat up than he is. So. Now, um, he rocked you with the overhand right in the first round. Um, you were really able to get your composure back. Um, what's it like now after that, being able to know you got a, a really good chin on you? I mean, obviously you probably already knew that, but being able to have a fight and really get it to you. I mean, it feels really good because I mean, through the course of the fight, I think I took a good three or four overhand rights. And I mean, that first one really got me. But it feels good. I mean, it definitely it shows that I need to keep that arm up, keep my chin tucked to not catch those overhand rights, but also it's comforting knowing that I can, if I get caught with my hands down, I can take an overhand right and recover from it. So it's definitely an asset and a tool in itself. Now, um, that was a great fight. Um, he had a lot of different strike skills coming to the table. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, when you have a great fight like that, um, what do you have left? What do you feel? I mean, it just, it feels good. It, it feels like, um, it, I came out and I did everything I was supposed to, I did everything I could, and he did everything he was supposed to and he could, and it was just a good, hard fought fight by both people. And we liked fighting each other so much, we just arranged for it, so we're going to go train together at uh, uh, Team Quest because our, our styles matched up pretty, pretty fluently there. We exchanged a lot of blows, so we're definitely going to be good training partners. Well, that's pretty awesome, man. Hey, I appreciate you always taking the time to talk to Northwest Fight Team. Um, anybody else you'd like to give a shout out to? Oh, absolutely. I'd like to thank Northwest Fight Scene because, again, they put us on the map. And it weren't for them, people wouldn't know our names. And, of course, I'd like to thank uh, uh, Portland's own breakout country artist, Kurt Van Meter. The song I walked out to is called That's Life. That's a single debut. And uh, I'd like to thank all the sponsors, uh, Cry Baby Army, Eugene Liquidators, Express Yourself Graphics, Northwest Auto Group, Oregon Kickboxing Academy, Midtown MMA, and... Uh, all my other fans and supporters, and of course my wife Kimberly, I love her, my friends and family, Joey, Bryce, my brother Kyle, and the rest of the, uh, the MMA supporters out there. Man. Awesome. Well, you heard it here, Agnock, Corey Wyatt, Spanier, and NWFightScene.com. Thank you, everybody.